Our book today is called Not Quite Narwhal and it's written by Jesse Seema. Do you see? He's got a, a unicorn horn right there. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. He knew early on that he was different than other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's. He had different taste in foods. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. Like he needs little floaties. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't either. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. <gasps> I wish I were a better swimmer. Kelp found himself at the surface closer to land than he had ever been before. And high up on the cliff, he spotted a mysterious sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like kelp. Kelp swam forward towards land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a bit anxious. He had never left the ocean. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but land creatures made it look so easy. It wasn't easy though. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> He's having some trouble. He's trying to figure it out. Eventually, though, he got the hang of it. He didn't give up. He kept trying until he could walk just like the other land animals. Everything on land was strange and beautiful. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him. But as he stumbled out of the forest, he saw them. Everywhere, there were land narwhals. Look, they're all creatures that look just like him. This one over here says, actually, we're unicorns. And by the looks of it, so are you. Kelp had never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. Wow, they introduced him to unicorn delicacies like unicorns, <laughs> and they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was, in fact, a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea, and Kelp missed them so much. So he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon, they say. Kelp swam toward home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. <gasps> and they have a big sign for him that says, Welcome home, Kelp! They're so happy to see him. They missed him so much. Kelp took a deep breath. <gasps> and told his friends the news. It turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you're not. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that and they took it quite well. <laughs> they knew he wasn't a narwhal. That was silly. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns? Or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. But then 
he realized. Maybe, just maybe, he didn't have to choose. Look at that. They all made friends with each other. So he can be with all of the friends. He can be with the unicorns and the narwhals. <laughs> The end. I love that story because it has unicorns and narwhals, which are unicorns of the sea. I hope you liked it too. Like and subscribe.